Hello everyone, myself Dr. Amit Maheshwari. Just recently I have created one poll on my YouTube channel in which I have asked that on which topic I should prepare videos. In that majority of the people have answered that I should prepare videos on case study of biochemistry. So I have decided that on every Wednesday I will post one video on case study of biochemistry. So today's case study is on respiratory distress syndrome. So please watch this video till the end. Till the end. So let's start. So the description part is preterm neonate. So increased respiratory rate, chest wall retraction, cyanosis, pallor, and his condition was progressively worsening and he was put on oxygen. Test x-ray was showing ground glance appearance and attending pediatrician suspected respiratory distress syndrome. This is the picture of chest x-ray which shows ground glass appearance which is due to the alveolar atelectasis along with granular opacities. Fine. So this is the description part. Now let's see the what are the questions. So the first question is what is the cause of RDS in premature babies? So RDS is one of the leading cause of neonatal morbidity and morbid, neonatal mortality and morbidity among premature babies. Premature babies are more prone for RDS because their lung is not mature enough to produce lung surfactant. Now what is this lung surfactant? Lung surfactant is one particular substance which is present on the internal wall of lung alveoli and this lung surfactant reduces the surface tension of this lung alveoli in a such a way that this lung alveoli doesn't get collapsed as well as their shape is maintained for a proper gaseous exchange. So that is the main cause of RDS in premature babies. This is the picture showing the normal alveoli and this is the picture of collapsed alveoli in which there is an absence of lung surfactant which is the case seen in premature babies suffering from ARDS. Fine. So, this is the picture of normal alveoli and this is the picture of collapsed alveoli. Now, second question is what is the major component of the lung surfactant? The major component of the lung surfactant is one phospholipid which is known as dipalmatyl lecithin. The another name of dipalmatyl lecithin is dipalmatyl phosphatidyl choline which prevents the collapse of the lung alveoli during expiration. Apart from this dipalmatyl lecithin, there is also presence of cholesterol, dipalmatyl glycerol and surfactant protein A, B and C in the lung surfactant. And this lung surfactant are produced by the type 2 alveolar cells. They are produced by the type 2 alveolar cells. And the production of this lung surfactant starts after the 28th week of gestation and their production increases as the gestational age advances. So that is the answer of second question. Now third question is how to assess the lung maturity antenatally. So lung maturity in fetus can be assessed by measuring the LS ratio that is lecithin sphingomyelin ratio in amniotic fluid. If the LS that is less than sphingomyelin, sphingomyelin ratio is greater than 2, if it is greater than 2, it indicates lung maturity and it is achieved at the gestational age of 34 weeks. Risk of developing ARDS increases by 75% if the LS ratio is less than 1.5. Fine. So that is the how we can assess the lung maturity antenatally. So that is the question number three. Now question number four. What precaution to be taken antenatally to prevent RDS? So to prevent RDS, glucocorticoid injection is given antenatally to the mother to enhance the fetal lung maturity. So these are the questions. This is my reference. Thank you for watching. Thank you.